here at Towson University, I teach genetics, molecular biology, and applied biotechnology. And kind of combining those, I decided to talk about transgenic organisms. And before I do that, though, I have to go back a little bit. You, you are probably familiar with the fact that DNA codes for all the information that's critical for the life of not only the cell, but all the cells in a multicellular organism. And little pieces of that DNA are gene units, and those genes code for proteins that are essential for the life of the organism. And the amazing thing is now, using that information, we can take genes from one organism and put them in another organism. Now, one of my favorite examples of uh, transgenic gene that's been used is the green fluorescent protein or GFP for short and that is traditionally isolated from the jellyfish Ecoria victoria which is a cool name and this protein has been used in a wide diversity of organisms to be able to um, be used as a marker to show when a protein is being made or not being made and, and the simple uh, ability to shine a blue light and be able to see the green fluorescence makes it very easy to use for scientists. So now you're probably saying, well, so what's the big deal? Not only is it, it what besides being cool about being able to glow green, um, would this technology have? Well, there's actually some great applications to that. For example, the determination of how HIV, the HIV virus, which causes AIDS, spreads from infected cells to uninfected cells. We kind of had an idea of how HIV spread, but with the use of green fluorescent protein, scientists were able to actually see how the virus could travel from an infected cell to an uninfected cell by a, a means that we didn't really know existed at the time. So that following that fluorescent trail gave us a great idea of how this um, infection could be spread.